Hello everyone, it's PCL by here, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix Vulcan 1.dll error for the game Hyperscape's open beta version. I will show you in 3 simple steps how you can fix this problem, so just watch this video till the end and follow each and every step carefully and your problem will surely be fixed. Before starting this video, I would like you all to know that I've already made videos on how to fix lagging issues, hyping and latency issues, and no compatible driver error for this game. So if you're facing any of these issues, then you can find the link of those videos in the description of this one. And just before starting with the first step, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games. And I'll be making regular content on Hyperscape, so make sure to hit that bell icon too. Now without any further ado, let's get started. So the main reason for this error to occur is because any of the driver in your PC is not up to date, including the integrated graphic driver, dedicated graphic driver, network adapters, and other drivers used during gaming. So instead of looking for which driver is causing the problem, you can simply download any software which can scan and update all your driver at once. So you can use any software for this purpose, but I've already made a video on how to download and use Driver Booster 7, so just click on the link provided to you in the description of this video and use this software to simply scan and update all your drivers. And if you have any doubt regarding this software then you can simply ask me in the comment section too. However, if your problem is still not fixed then let's proceed to the second step and it will surely help you. Second step again a really important one if the first step didn't work for you. In the second step we will update our integrated graphic driver separately because it is hard to detect update for integrated graphics as compared to dedicated graphics. So if you are using AMD integrated graphics then what you have to do is you have to search for download AMD Redon driver on Google and go to this website by amd.com. And if you are using Intel integrated graphics then what you have to do is you have to search for download Intel graphic drivers and go to this downloadcenter.intel.com. So first I'll show you for AMD users what you have to do is you have to download this auto detect tool by AMD. So this will automatically de detect your graphic card and update it to the latest version. So you have to select the factory reset mode while installing it. So what it will do is it will uninstall all the previous installation of your graphic driver and install the latest one. So once you've installed it just restart your PC and your problem will mostly most probably be fixed. And if you are an Intel user then here first just select which generation processor you are using. For example you are using 8th generation Intel processor and then you have to select which graphic card you are using. So if you are using Ultra HD 630 then select your graphic card and you can just simply download its graphic drivers from here. So it is easy, really easy to download it from here. So once you have done it, so that's it for the second step. It will most probably fix your problem but if you are still facing this problem then let's proceed to the third and the last step. So in the third step we will be downloading the DLL file that is vulcan1.dll. So just search on google download vulcan1.dll and go to this link by dll-files.com. So just click on it and you will be redirected to this page and from here scroll down and select 64 bit PC and download this zip file. As soon as you will click on it your downloading will be started. As you can see my downloading has been started and vulcan1.dll has been installed here has been downloaded here. So just open this folder and then you will be redirected to this screen. Here just copy this dll file that is vulcan1.dll copy it and go to your local disk C and now go to windows and in windows you have to paste it in two different folders. So first one is system32 so look for system32 and paste it here and once you have done it then replace replace the file destination here and once you have pasted it here then you have to paste it in syswow64 folder so once it has been done go to syswow64 folder and paste it here too and once you have done it then most probably your problem will be fixed and if you are still facing this problem there is one more thing that you can try you have to go to your this start menu right click on your start menu and go to device manager and in device manager this is only for intel integrated graphics so if you are using amd integrated graphics then you don't have to do it but if you are using intel integrated graphics then here go to display adapters and select your intel graphic drivers i am using amd radon integrated graphics so i won't do it but if you are using intel integrated graphics then just right click on your graphic here and just disable your device so I won't be disabling it because it is really important for AMD users but if you are using Intel graphics, integrated graphics then just right click on it and you can just disable it from here by clicking on disable device and it is working for many users. So these were all the 3 or 4 steps which worked for me and many users in fixing this error. So if you have any doubt write in the comment section. If it worked for you please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe for regular gaming content. Thank you and have a nice day.